Okay, here's a quick uh, tip on um, bed leveling on a uh, Ender 3. I am replacing this plate, which is the original Ender 3 plate, with this G10 plate. The reason why I replaced it, because this one, I could never get it right. It was probably not even, and no matter how many times I level, it was not good. So, I decided to get uh, paid $12 for this on AliExpress, and then I just adjust it and uh, did the bed leveling. So, to do that, I'm going to show, I'm going to turn on the printer and how I do it. Now, this is something um, I learned from another YouTuber, and it's quite simple process. Okay. So, the idea is to get you a filler gate, and this particular one is uh, 0 0.2 millimeters. So, what we're gonna do is we're going to go to the menu, and we're gonna first uh, home the printer, Second, what we're going to do is we're going to rise the, the print head in the Z axis and we're going to slice it uh, 0 0.2, just our filler gauge. Okay, if you have a filler gauge 0 0.3, use rise to 0 0.3. I have 0 0.2 and that's what I got. Okay, so once we do that, next we're going to disable the step motors to, to move the, the plate manually. Once it's disabled, I'm going to turn off the printer. You can do this while the printer is on, doesn't matter. Um, it's usually advisable to get it preheat. I'm just turning it off because the noise. Okay, and what you want to do is basically move the, the plate and the head where you want to. Usually, um, the four corners where the, the squares are. And all you do is you just grab your, your filler gauge and then you start playing into to try to get a fit. Like, for instance, I am doing it right now, and it feels like a little draggy in there. Just enough draggy that it fits in there, and it's just draggy. Okay, you got to feel the drag on it. So it's rubbing against the, the head. It has to fit in there. Uh, if it's too loose, you got to tighten a little bit uh, the knob. So you do that in every corner. So basically, you move the head, the, the plate, in every corner, ideally where every square is. The order of uh, what squares you do first and uh, so forth, it doesn't matter as long as you do it, all of them. Now the middle, you can do the middle as well, but I, I, pen, I find kind of to be useless because it's the, the axis is controlled by all the three corners and the middle one should be okay in most cases unless you, your bed is uneven. So notice that this one is, is pretty good. It's not perfect, but it's pretty good. And that's first layer. So that is pretty good for me. and. Take a notice of this. It's replicating the same thing in every corner. So, um, yeah, there are many videos out there that can teach you some more about this, but this is the simple and easy to do that. And then once you are done with this, uh, or the date you're gonna print, it's gonna work fine. The next time you wanted to print, let's say in a week or so, you may wanna kind of start with this test print. Uh, otherwise, uh, I noticed that there is a slightly a difference. Every time, maybe it's the temperature, maybe uh, the weather, don't know, but there's always a slightly uh, difference. So you got to test it every time before you're going to print. And it's going to be for the good of the rest of the day that you work on. Um, another thing is, uh, if the um, film filament doesn't look great the way you want to, you might want to uh, adjust the temperature of the filament. This particular filament, it, uh, it says that it is, uh, let's see, it's inverted here, but it says from 190 to 220, so, uh, well, 25 to 60, that so but i found that this particular one works pretty well with uh, uh 50 and on the bed and uh 205 so um i don't need no to hit it up more and it produces good enough uh, resolution on that and that's it um I just use a filler gauge that's the best not a paper paper can be very deceiving and different papers do have different thickness so um that's it that's all about uh thank for